case creation and life cycle. My name is Paresh and this is episode five. So when you're ready to create a case, the first thing that you want to remember is that everything happens from within the customer service hub. If we come up to our dynamics menu and click on the expanding option, we'll see the customer service hub option over here. We can click on the customer service hub and expand the sitemap. Now there are a couple of ways that you can create a case. Once you understand what you're looking for, click on the case icon that looks like a wrench. And that opens up our traditional active cases view where we can go in and either work with an existing case or create a new case from scratch. Now you will notice that we only need two required fields when an agent is coming in and doing the case, which is the case title and the customer, which are denoted with red asterisks. Maybe in this case, we can say that uh, we have a broken printer. So we type the case title as broken printer. And then I come down to the customer field. Over here, I can either type in the first couple of information for the customer record, or I can click up on the lookup icon. So when I click on it, I have the option to filter this by either accounts or contacts because technically a customer record in Dynamics can be either an account or a contacts. So for simplicity, I say that this will be an account and I will choose 8ATEM Corporation. You will notice that when I do that, it automatically feeds in some of the key information about this account, like their email address, their phone number. So if I need to reach out to them directly, I have the ability to do so. Now let us say that this case came in via phone, so we can change the origin of this case. And if there was a product or entitlement or some additional information that was associated with this, I would have the ability to define the information as a part of this case. So at this point, I click on save. Now, once I have saved this case, it is ready to open business process flows associated with it. It will also show me some additional cases that it might be related to inside the application. So this is from a scenario where an agent has a call coming in and they enter the information directly into the application. Now, what happens if there is an activity or if someone calls in and I did not take the call, but somebody left me a voicemail and I want to convert the call into a case. Now, I can do that as well. All I need to do is go to the sitemap and click on activities. And this will show me all the activities that are logged in into the system. And I can see that there has been a phone call for me. So if I just double click on this record, I can see that there was a voicemail which was left for me and it was coming from ADATM Corporation. There's a phone number, there's a duration and some message for me. But what I can also do from this activity is I can convert this activity into an opportunity or to a case. Now, since we are talking in terms of customer service, I would like to convert it to a case. Now, this gives me an opportunity to define what I'm going to do with this uh, activity. So I defined the subject as it was a query and uh, it asked me if I need to open a new case, I can say yes. And it also, also asked me if, you know, I want to change the status to completed and close the form as well. So for which I choose yes and I click on convert. So when I hit convert, I will have a brand new case just like you see on your screen. I will have a business process flow activated in the system. And if I come to the uh, timeline, um, it will trigger that this information came in from uh, a case as a part of the application. So there are multiple ways that as an agent, I can define how I want to create these cases, whether it is manually entering them in or whether I want to convert a specific activity like a phone call or an email directly into the case.